What's up, Pack members? It's Rare Spirits Elf here, and welcome to our next episode of our Dark Souls 3 Ashes Variant Let's Play. So, in last episode, we mainly just started off the Ashes Variant DLC, and you know, you know, we fought some followers, we fought some wolves, we fought a big wolf, and we also fought some trees. So, we haven't died yet, though. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to, well, You know, the more souls the better, right? Now these wolves actually aren't very threatening, so you know, just like do as much damage as you can to them. You what? Like I said, it's like I said last time, I really hate having to kill these wolves because they look like normal wolves, but they are attacking, so you know, if they attack me, I kill. So, yeah. Sad as it is, you know, it's just the way it's gotta be. Sure. All right, Millwood Knight, bring it on. Should be okay, right? Shards, so pretty good. Now, here's another Millwood Knight coming up, I think. I thought there was one. Oh, whoa. Oh, yeah, we have oh, one with a wolf? That wolf looks bigger. I don't know. Okay, so now that we have no Estus, we're going to kind of try our best to sneak around these Millwood Knights and, yeah. Aha! The tower. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to run up the tower as fast as we can. Soul Mold Hand. Hopefully we can make it around on escape. Nope, we can't. Okay. Alright, much no big deal. Alright, so sad as it is, we are gonna join, go to the bonfire we last rested at. Cause like, as much as I, you know, don't want to just chicken out of fights, if I have no Estus, then, you know, it's just not happening. 
So, yeah. Plus, it's not required to climb that tower. It's just, you know, I think it has some good, well, goodies at it. And plus, it doesn't help that there's, you know, million knights on the stairs, and, you know, they're such big enemies. All right, let's go and cross the bridge so we can, you know, you know, advance the DLC. So, you know, we have this bridge. It looks a lot like the bridge that we first started on when we first entered the Painted World of Ariamis back in Dark Souls Remastered. See, right here we have, like, well, this guy. Your lady Julius, Lord of Homos, no bell tolls. And yet, you've slipped into the painting, oh, no matter if you've lost your way. The words are now. So, you don't have to talk to him, but you can. And you, know, you can now open up the doors to the area of the chapel. Run over here. Light the bonfire. And here we have uh, Sister Frida. Welcome to the painted world of Ariando. I am Frida. I long to look for Lord, thou seen Lord of Hollows. I know not the mister, but thy duty is return from when I presume it only a faded thing. And ah yes, a remembrance of the late healthy war. You get the chill white ring from her? Now retires to place it. You can keep talking if you like. Now, now obviously, you know, a normal person would like listen to her or you know I you know, like a normal everyday person would listen to her advice, but not us. We're not going to listen to Lady Frida, or Sister Frida, whatever you want to call her. We're going to move on, and we are going to keep exploring this place. So, yeah. So, come over here, there's a ladder right here, so, come down the ladder. Okay, did I see something in the cave? No, it's just my imagination. Sorry about that. Alright. buzzing sound gives me a willies. Makes a skin crawl. But, you know, I mean, it's not really anything. I'm not even afraid of bugs. It's just, you know, like this, it's the sound they make. The little kind of quiet buzzing sound they make. Oh. Did it fall off? Oh, yes it did. <laughs> but, you know, the buzzing sound those enemies make just it can make your skin crawl. So here you have an follower. I think if we're careful, we can actually sneak up on it. But nope, not us. I think both of them are dead. Nice. Now here you have a part that some people, or it reminds some people of Final Fantasy for some reason. But here we go. And I guess it does kind of remind me of the King of Corona part from King Mark 3 where we slide down the flowery hill. That's actually a lot of fun. That actually was a lot of fun in that scene, in all honesty. So, next up. Come down here. I don't think these enemies are necessarily threatening. So just kind of like, kill me if you want to. So like, they, they, they can only do damage you if you just legit do nothing. Oh, but we do have these enemies again. Remember these from Erico and the Bordo Valley? Well, guess they're back.
Oh, you're still alive, aren't you? Okay. So, yeah. So, with that out of the way, we can now go ahead and enter through here. And, you know, like, there's just a lot of noises that are going to be happening, so just kind of get used to them. It may not be easy, you don't have to like it, but you kind of got to get used to them. So, come this way. And this is a new enemy. I don't know what it's called, but it's wielding a unique weapon. I think they're called like the Crow Talons. I know. They can be pretty dead at this thing if not careful. But you know. They do bleed. But you know. Defeated. Now I actually cannot get the weapon off the enemy itself. We're gonna have to find them in a bundle, but should still be okay. Now there's two variations of this enemy. That one had the crow talons, which is just like I think I think it's the crow talons. It's either crow quills or crow talons. Well, whichever one that was, that's the first one which has the claws on both hands. It's actually a pretty cool weapon. And the other one has is like one has one hand has claws and the other one has like a well, like a rapier or something. So you can talk to this guy if you want. Oh, you. And say, I am not Ash. Well, oh, wait. I've been married to the Taos Taranakwin. Well, I guess you could tell him you're Ash. I was so. Oh. Oh, my lady, you are. Yeah. Surely, but that which often so blank the Taos, my lady, must Okay. Come in here. And yeah, that's like one of the houses or whatever. So, you know, we got that one. I don't think there's anywhere we can climb up or anything. No, there isn't. So, yeah. And yeah, we're doing good on time, so we're going to keep going. Let's come around here, see if we can find anything. Nice. We're just going to explore everywhere. Ah, here's our bonfire. Have rest here. Pretty nice. And I don't think there's any collectibles in here necessarily. Well, there's one up there, but we can't reach it, obviously. Not yet. So. Let's see, anything we can get from up here? Nope. That's just a dead end. And again, you don't have to kill this enemy, but you can if you want to. I mean, no one's telling you not to, so... Yep. Now, we're not going to climb that hill just yet. We're going to look through these houses. That one does not open from this side. Near to that one, okay. No big deal. Maybe we might have to go up the hill. Oh yeah, I think we are. Yeah. Like I said, it's been a while since I've played through like the actual story. I've been free playing this a bit, but not much, so. Come this way. Um. Oh, there's actually a little collectible down there. We'll probably grab that later. Can't get already. Watch me. What's down here? Hello. Trying to push me off the edge, huh? Okay, anything in here? Ah, yes, we have an item. More ember. Always nice. Okay. So is this the same place we went to? Yeah, we did. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah we actually have the Cold Sword Fragment. So, yeah, let's drop down here. Let's grab this item. Eh, just a simple gem. Do that enemy. Oh, yes. So, pull the lever.
Yep. We're back in this area, but we're just gonna go ahead and cold sword fragment to that last bonfire the rest of that just to, you know, save time. Cause no one needs to see me constantly climbing. So yeah. face a new enemy, there it is, and you don't have to face it yet, but you know, this one can actually throw the little daggers or something, so, oh, you guys can backstab your thing, that's cool, oh, and there you go, I actually killed it, and you know, gets another lifetime shark, we'll get his weapon, which, you know, is that, the R variation of the weapon those things use, which is, you know, the one with the, well, the rapier or whatever. So, we need to figure out how to get into there. Oh, we're gonna go down this path, okay. Oh, and sometimes it seems to drop on you and just be annoying. Alright, Dunk High, how are we doing time? We have a few more minutes left, we'll at least try to find a stopping point before, you know, we move on. Here, I think we actually have a toxic one, so yeah. Or one that breathes something. Yeah, that's a toxic one, so be careful about that. I mean, that looks like it's a toxic status effect rather than poison, so yeah. And as you see, there's that other, like, the one that we killed earlier, the one with the dual talons or whatever. I think we're actually at a pretty good stopping point. Oh, wait, this is, yeah, this is a normal item. Yeah, we're at a good stopping point, so that concludes this episode. So tune in for the next one, and we will continue our journey through the Ashes of Ariandel. So see you guys back in the pack.